For nearly 6,000 years, God has held you, most of you, in reserve to make your appearance in the final days before the second coming of the Lord. God reserves spirits for this dispensation who would have the courage and the determination to face the world and all the powers of the evil one, and who would build up the Zion of our God fearless of all consequences." Unquote. Fear shall come upon all people, but you and I know that the Lord has prepared places of safety to which he is eager to guide us. God has saved for the final inning some of his strongest children who will help bear off the kingdom triumphantly. For you are the generation that must be prepared to meet your God. There has never been more expected of the faithful in such a short time, a short period, as there is of us. As the challenges around us increase, we must commit to do more to qualify for the companionship of the Holy Ghost. Casual prayer won't be enough. Reading a few verses of the scripture won't be enough. Doing the minimum of what the Lord asks of us won't be enough. This preparation must consist of more than just casual membership in the church. You must learn to be guided by personal revelation and the counsel of the living prophet, so you will not be deceived. I know without question, my brothers and sisters, that God lives. I testify to you that this is his work. I testify as well that our Savior, Jesus Christ, is at the head of this church, which bears his name. I know that the sweetest experience in all this life is to feel his promptings as he directs us in the furtherance of his work. We know not the day nor the hour of his coming, but of this you may feel assured. You stand close to the great day of the Lord. In his words of modern revelation, we say to you, seek the face of the Lord always. You will live in the midst of economic, political, and spiritual instability. When you see these signs, unmistakable evidences that his coming is nigh, be not troubled, but stand in holy places, and be not moved until the day of the Lord come.